Chapter 2 Advanced Features of Word 2016 Spelling and Grammar While typing in Word 2016, sometimes we make errors like misspellings, adding an extra space, adding no space at all, etc. In Word, we can identify those errors without rereading the whole text. When we make errors in Word 2016, we can easily identify those errors because Word has a feature in which it underlines the grammatical errors in blue and the spelling errors in red. We can correct these mistakes by using spelling and grammar. We can get suggestions for correction for the whole document or for the selected parts of the document. It is commonly known as spell check. Follow these steps to spell check a document. Step 1. Click on the Review tab. Step 2. Select the Spelling and Grammar Tool Proofing Group. The first incorrect word after the position of the cursor will be highlighted. A spelling pane opens on the right side of the window. We can perform the following functions. Three suggestions to correct the word will appear in the suggestion box. We can do one of the following. Double click on the word with the correct spelling in the suggestion box. The incorrect word will be replaced with the correct word or you can choose change all option. If you click on ignore once, spell check will ignore the word for that time. If you click on ignore all, spell check will ignore that word in the whole document. It will not appear as incorrect. We can add a word in the dictionary, so it will not appear as a grammatical or a spelling error. When the whole document is checked for spelling and grammar, a message will appear in a dialog box. Step 3. Click on Yes to continue checking the document or No to stop. When we right-click on the incorrect word, a menu will appear. We can choose a word from the suggested options. This will Change the incorrect word. For correction of grammatical mistakes, right-click on the words underlined with two blue lines. The menu will display suggestions for correction. Select the desired option. Thesaurus Thesaurus is a collection of words that can be used to replace a selected word in the document. It displays a list of synonyms for the word that needs to be replaced. We use a thesaurus to use more suitable words in our document. Follow these steps to use the thesaurus tool in Word 2016. Step 1. Select the word that you wish to replace. Step 2. Go to the Review tab. Step 3. Click on Thesaurus tool from the Proofing group. The thesaurus pane will appear on the left side of the window. It displays a list of Synonyms for the word that has been selected. Step 4. Click on the drop-down menu and select the Insert or Copy option. Find and Replace Text We use the Find command to search for a word in the document. Using the Replace command can replace the selected word with another word in the entire document. Find Text Follow these steps to find a word in a document. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. Step 2. Click on the Find tool in the Editing group. A navigation pane will appear on the left side of the window. Step 3. Type the word words that you want to find in the document. That word will be highlighted in the entire document as many times it has occurred. We will see a preview of all the sentences or sections of text which include the selected text in the results section of the navigation pane. Step 4. Click on results to go to that search item in the document. Replace text. Follow these steps to replace a word in a document. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. Step 2. Click on Replace tool in the Editing group. A Find and Replace dialog box will appear on the left side of the window. 
the Replace tab is selected by default. Step 3. Type the word that you want to search and replace. Step 4. Type the alternate word that you want to replace it with in the Replace with box. Step 5. Click on the Find Next button. Word 2016 will search for that word or text. If the word is found in the text, it will get highlighted. We can then replace the word words by clicking on the Replace button or Replace All button. Repeat the above steps until you have replaced all the words that needed to be replaced. A message box will appear that will display the number of words that are being replaced. It will confirm whether you want to continue the search or not. Step 6. Click on Yes if you want to replace more words and No if you do not want to continue the search. Step 7. Click on Close button to close the Find and Replace dialog box. Page Formatting Page formatting is the arrangement of text and other elements on a page in a manner that makes it appear organized and appealing to the reader. We can find such page formatting options in the Layout tab in Word 2016. Let us learn about some page formatting tools. Changing page orientation Orientation of a page refers to the way in which the information will be displayed on the page. This information can be a text or an image and it can be displayed in a landscape or portrait orientation. The default orientation in Word 2016 is Portrait. Follow these steps to change page orientation in Word 2016. Step 1. Click on Layout tab. Step 2. Select the Orientation command in the Page Setup group. Step 3. Choose your preferred orientation, Portrait or Landscape. Setting Paper Size. Paper size is the length and width of the paper in centimeters cm. We require different sizes of paper for different types of documents. A 4 is the default paper size in Word 2016. Follow these steps to change the paper size in Word. Step 1. Click on the Layout tab. Step 2. Click on Size command in Page Setup group. Step 3. Select a paper size for your document. A 4 is the standard paper size. Inserting a page break. A page break means a page will end and another page will be added as instructed by the user. Follow these steps to insert a page break in a document. Step 1. Click where the page break needs to be inserted. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab. Step 3. Click on the Page Breaks command in the Page Setup group. Step 4. Select the Page option. A page break will be inserted in the document. Column Formatting In Word 2016, the default column setting for the text is single column, but we can change that. Follow these steps to change the layout of the text into columns. Step 1. Select the text that you want to lay out into columns. Step 2. Click on Layout tab. Step 3. Select the Columns command in the Page Setup group. Step 4. Select the number of columns from the drop-down menu. Paragraph Formatting through paragraph formatting, we can change the look of the paragraph. These are some paragraph formatting options. Line spacing. Line spacing is the vertical space between the lines. Following are the steps to change line spacing in a text. Step 1. Select the text to change line spacing. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Line and Paragraph Spacing tool in the Paragraph group. 
Step 4. Select the most suitable line spacing. Paragraph spacing. Paragraph spacing is the vertical space between paragraphs. It is measured in points. Follow these steps to change the paragraph spacing in Word 2016. Step 1. Place the cursor in the paragraph. You can also select multiple paragraphs at a time. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab. Step 3. Click on the Before and After boxes under the Spacing heading in the Paragraph group. Step 4. Click on the arrows in the Before and After boxes to choose the desired spacing. Default Paragraph Spacing Changed Spacing Mail Merge The Mail Merge feature in Word can be used to create and send multiple letters or invitations to many people at the same time. Each letter invitation is the same, but it is sent to different people. The three main steps of Mail Merge are 1. Creating the main document The main document is the letter invitation that you want to send to people. 2. Creating the data source The data source is a list of people recipients who will receive the main document. It consists of the first name, last name, company name, etc. 3. Merging documents It combines the main document and the data source. Creating the main document The main document can be about any topic. Look at the example below, following are the steps to create the main document. Step 1. Type the letter in Word. Step 2. Click on the Mailings tab. Step 3. Click on the Start Mail Merge option in Start Mail Merge group. A drop-down menu will appear. Step 4. Select Letters option from the menu. Creating a data source. Follow these steps to select recipients of the invitation. Step 1. Click on the Mailings tab. Step 2. Choose the Select Recipients option from the Start Mail Merge group. Step 3. Select Type a new list from the drop-down menu. A new address list box will appear. Step 4. Add the details of the recipients. Click on the OK button. You can add more recipients by clicking on the New Entry button. Click on the Delete Entry button to delete an entry. Once you click on OK, the Save Address List dialog box will appear in which you can save the addresses for future use. Step 5. Type a name to save the address list in the file name box. Click on the Save button. We can edit the recipient list through the Edit Recipient List option. To access this option, go to Mailings Edit Recipient List. Merging the main document and data source. Follow these steps to merge the main document and the data source. Step 1. Click on the Mailings tab. Step 2. Click on Finish and Merge command in the Finish group. A drop-down menu will appear. Step 3. Select Edit Individual Documents from the menu. A Merge to New Document message box will appear. Step 4. Select the All option and click on OK. A new document will open in a new window with a new name. It is a merged document.